I'm Brian. And that's Jeremy. And every week on PSVR, this week, week, we take a look at the new VR games that are coming to the PlayStation Store this week. We gather up all the videos we could find, all the descriptions we can plagiarize, and we condense them down into the short video for you. Sometimes we look at delayed games, updates, DLC, or new game announcements. So without further ado, here's PSVR this, this week. week. Shadow Legend is a single-player, exploration RPG built exclusively for VR that immerses you in the medieval realm of Inaria. Explore the world to find its hidden treasures, choose from swords, bows, axes, and magic weapons to defeat skilled enemies and epic bosses. Shadow Legend is filled with things to do, discover, and interact with, creating a near-lifelike adventure for you to immerse yourself in that's only made possible by VR. dozen people are dead after a missile attack involving Stark Industries. Why'd you stop selling weapons, Tony? I needed to sleep better. Stark drones incoming on an intercept course. Developer Camouflage announced this week that their upcoming Iron Man VR game has been delayed for technically the second time since being revealed. Iron Man originally had the vague release window of 2019, which eventually turned into February 28, 2020, and with this newest delay, it's now expected on May 15th. The official word from Camouflage is that they simply need the extra time to deliver on their vision and meet the high expectations of players. Delays always suck, especially when they're high-profile AAA PSVR exclusives, but if it means we're getting a better game, then we're happy to wait. For your sins. Die for them. On a recent First Contact Entertainment stream, the developers were showing off a new map for Firewall Zero Hour called The Oil Rig. It has a similar look to Docks and Cargo, but I'm sure once we get in there and check it out for ourselves, we'll discover some of its more unique nuances. And of course, more content for PSVR's biggest multiplayer game is never a bad thing. There's no release date for the new map yet, other than that it's coming, quote, very soon. Falcon Age came to PSVR in April of last year, but you haven't seen the last of it yet. Developer Chandana Ekenayake from Outer Loop Games revealed in a recent tweet that there's a big content update for the game currently in the works, but the thing that caught my attention most was something that I've wanted for this game from the very beginning, permanent stat boost for the bird, rather than the temporary buffs that certain foods offered. There's no release date for the update, but needless to say, we'll be keeping a close eye on this one. Colonizers came for their own reasons. Carly and the Reaper Man from Odd Raven Studios breathed new life into the puzzle platforming genre when it hit PlayStation VR this past October. Being able to play as both Carly in third person and the Reaper Man in first person to solve puzzles in the underworld was both challenging and fun, but didn't really garner all the attention it deserved. So hopefully the recent announcement from Perp Games that they'll be releasing a physical version in European territories on March 6th will help change that. No word on a North American release yet, but if you order from the Perp Games website, they will ship internationally.
developer Jeff Minter from Llamasoft recently showed off the first few levels of his new game Moose Life. If this looks familiar, you've probably played some of Minter's previous retro-inspired PSVR games, Polybius, Grid Runner, or Goat Up. The premise here looks pretty straightforward, with lots of shooting, insane power-ups, tons of particle effects, and a classic gravity-shifting mechanic used in countless classic 8- and 16-bit titles. Space Ribbon's Slipstream to the Extreme isn't your traditional racing game. The only way to get ahead is to stay behind and boost your maximum speed by using your opponent's Slipstream. Chase down a giant space beast and race to enter the creature's mouth as it spews out a series of different psychedelic racetracks. If you've been wanting to try this one and you're just not willing to shell out the cash, we don't blame you. But luckily we have two North American keys to give away. So if you're interested, leave your PSN name in the comments below and we'll pick two winners at random on this week's episode of PSVR Gamescast Live that airs every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Multiple entries will be disqualified. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of PSVR This, this Week. week. We'll be back next week to keep you up to date on all the VR games coming to the PlayStation Store. But keep in mind that no one outside of Sony really knows what games are coming when. But we'll do our best to keep you up to date each and every week on PSVR This, this Week. week.